Uh, so my name is uh, Yasin. I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, Learnful today. Uh, if you want to get in touch uh, after uh, this presentation, uh, feel free to get in touch at ydahi at learnful.ca or ymdahi on, on Twitter. Uh, so I just want to quickly talk about you know Learnful, what is it, um, and uh, how it might help uh, in your teaching practice. Uh, it's an ongoing project uh, that, is, that aims to provide a free and open platform for educators, instructional designers, students, researchers uh, to share, remix, collaborate, and build OER and open communities. Uh, you, you can check out the Canadian demo at uh, learnful.ca if you'd like. Uh, Learnful has a bunch of different features. Uh, it would take uh, more than uh, the 10 minutes that I have today to go through all of them. Uh, so today we're just going to focus on the open and collaborative workspaces, which is this blue um, panel you see on the very right. Uh, but just to give you a sense of kind of what are some of the other features, uh, we have an, a modular system for creating OER. Uh, you can create H5P, uh, lessons, modules, epics, quizzes, uh, and so on and so forth. You can also remix each each resource type. Uh, you can each member has a portfolio where they can share their uh, content and their resources and their ideas. Uh, there's also a, an idea exchange or social tools built into Learnful. Uh, more than just uh, creating content, we want to uh, you know uh, basically let uh, folks uh, share their ideas and, and provide feedback uh, and and whatnot. So what we're here to talk to you about today is uh, the open and collaborative workspaces. Uh, Really, uh, there are essentially three components uh, to our open uh, workspaces. First is uh, the discovery aspect. Uh, this allows uh, members of the community to essentially find initiatives or um, uh, efforts of other educators or designers who want to, uh, who are essentially uh, uh, attempting to create OER for a specific purpose, if you will. The second component being mobil uh, mobilization of knowledge in that uh, within the uh, workspace, uh, educators can combine their efforts to either plan, organize, collaborate on the authoring or provide review of OER that gets created. Uh, and the final uh, component being uh, the, the cataloging of outcomes. Uh, essentially, you know, what did the workspace achieve? What, what are some of the outcomes that, uh, you know, that we shared uh, and being able to essentially uh, share that with the rest of the community for, you know, uh, for educators who, who come on board and, and find it uh, after the fact or, uh, you know, in the future. If this uh, chart looks uh, similar, it's because, uh, you know, uh, you might be familiar with the community of practice framework, which is, uh, which is kind of what we use to design many of the features. Um, and so I'm, I won't obviously explain community of practice because I'm uh, assuming most of you um, are very familiar. Uh, but basically, when you when you take a look at the the Learnful demo today, uh, what you'll be seeing is essentially the five R's and the uh, community of practice framework uh, implemented uh, in a in a web application. So with that, I'm going to jump into a quick demo. Uh, so here I'm logged in uh, in a test account. I'm on the workspaces uh, section. Of Learnful. Uh, here I have some workspaces that I can join. Uh, and these are essentially workspaces that members of the Learnful would, would have uh, created. So for example, uh, perhaps I'm a uh, health sciences educator uh, and I'm interested in OER that's being created by other health science uh, educators. So I would go into this workspace. When a workspace is created, uh, the creator of that workspace provides a description for that workspace. This could include the goals, um, you know, the, the intended outcomes and whatnot. Uh, they also provide contribution guidelines. So, or sorry, uh, contributor guidelines. So this is, uh, you know, would essentially be, you know, the, the sort of steps or the, uh, you know, the standards in which um, members were uh, uh, essentially um, uh, guided by. Um, as I mentioned, the, more than just uh, creating content, the idea is to plan and organize the way that we create content. Uh, the planning and organization occurs in the discussions tab for a workspace. Uh, once you join the, the workspace, uh, you can access the discussion tab and you can also post new discussions. Uh, discussions can be uh, you know, just like a blog post, if you will, or a discussion or a forum post, uh, or they can be uh, events, uh, they can be polls, uh, and really, uh, any any type of way that you might organize uh, a discussion around uh, an initiative for creating uh, open open content. So if I just click on the new discussion tab button, here I can start to essentially write out my uh, content, provide a title, 
uh, decide what sort of post type it is, add attachments, things like, you know, H5P elements, uh, you know, uh, other educational resources, videos, files, uh, min meeting minutes, uh, if this was a, a meeting. Um, if we are planning an event like a sprint, um, you know, we can specify the date. Uh, and if we wanted to add a poll uh, to this discussion, we can just add it there. So if we take a look at uh, a discussion, we can see that this is a, um, an event type discussion. Here we have the event date, here we have the content. Uh, and obviously inside of here, any member of the community can view this, this uh, discussion and join in the uh, discussion by adding a reply. So if discussion where the, or is where the organization and the planning occurs, uh, then labs are where the, the um, uh, essentially the, the knowledge is mobilized, where, where folks, uh, where educators and designers can get together uh, and share content and uh, review content and uh, remix each other's content, essentially. So here we have three uh, labs uh, for this workspace. We have a sprint lab, uh, a group lab, and a deliverable lab. And obviously that sort of naming convention is, is more or less for, for organizational purposes. But let's take a look at a deliverable. In here, uh, we, ha we have a deliverable with the title Interactive Quizzes for Biology, High School and Up. And so if I'm a part of the Health Sciences OER uh, workspace and uh, perhaps I'm a high school uh, educator or a high school teacher uh, and I'm interested in uh, creating um, interactive courses or in, sorry, interactive quizzes for biology, uh, this is where I would essentially share or uh, view or review uh, resources uh, uh, in this workspace. So let's take a look at a H5P element that's been shared in this uh, lab. In here, I see the H5P element itself. I see the authors, I see the collaborators, and I only have three minutes left, so I'm just gonna rush through here. Uh, I have the ability to review uh, this content, provide feedback for the authors, so they know how to uh, potentially improve upon it. Uh, I can also mark this as reviewed and tested, uh, and that gets us into collections where the outcomes and the, um, the shared outcomes and the achievements of the, uh, the workspace is created or uh, essentially cataloged. So when we create a collection, we can specify, uh, we're essentially uh, uh, in uh, allowing for uh, a group of content or a group of OER to, uh, that's been either vetted or reviewed or gone through some iterations or remixes uh, to be shared within a community in a, in a sort of cataloged manner. Uh, and so what's better than finding one nice OER uh, is finding, uh, finding out that it's part of a bigger collection of OER uh, that's been gone through that process of, of review potentially. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's in a nutshell. Uh, and I want to give a few minutes for, uh, for questions. So that in a nutshell is how um, we're approaching collaborative OER to make OER a little bit more sustainable, uh, to give it longevity, uh, and to uh, essentially support um, you know, generations of, of, of OER. So with that, if you have any questions, um, please uh, throw it into the chat or, um, or um, uh, just uh, feel free to turn on your mic and let me know. Thanks so much, Yasin. So yeah, please uh, put any questions you might have for Yasin in the chat. I guess I have a question about um, how you see this being used. Would you see it being a means for faculty across multiple institutions to collaborate? Is that kind of the, like, can you give us a few use cases, I guess, that describe the scenario for use? Certainly. So right now we're working with a, um, uh, a few, or, uh, we're, we're Canadian based. And so we're working with uh, mostly Canadians, uh, Canadian institutions right now. Uh, we have one potential partnership uh, coming down the lines, which is essentially a cross provincial, uh, sorry, multiple provinces work, uh, institutes from multiple provinces working together uh, uh, to create uh, essentially a, um, uh, professional development opportunities for educators who are going into the uh, the, the online pivot, if you will. Uh, and so the idea is that Learnful is a tool where they get to practice, where they get to share, uh, and where they get to create and also review and, you know, kind of go into that iterative um, mechanism of improving upon their OER. So yeah, definitely the idea is that it, it's, there's no borders in terms of, you know, where the OER gets created. Uh, and who owns the OER, essentially. Uh, you know, uh, you can have collaborators on OER and those collaborators would be able to edit and, uh, and remix that content as well. Um, I hope that answers your question, Paul. 